Hello, um, it's John again, as you can see, swelling went down, uh, today is, what is today? Just kidding, uh, it is November 13th, which means that Martha's pregnancy, uh, our pregnancy, is at 13 weeks and 5 days, there you go. Um, went to the doctors yesterday and got an ultrasound and I snuck in a little video. I uploaded that so you can check that out. We, uh, saw the baby, uh, move its hand and flinch and, uh, it was amazing. You know, just actually, it's starting to look like an actual baby instead of like a little squiggly line. And, uh, yeah, really awesome. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was really awesome. And then the day before that, uh... We went in there and we thought she was going to go in there to get blood tests to find out if there's any more complications with the baby to find out if it's healthy. And uh, what usually happens is she goes in, they take her weight, um, her height, all that, her blood pressure, and then they tell her to go back out into the waiting room and sit down, then 15 minutes go by and then they call her back in. And so they called her in and I was like, go in baby, uh, I'll just stay here, They'll, I'll go back in when you go back in the second time, you know, you don't need me to go in there for you to get your weight and stuff, so, waited, and I kept waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and then Martha comes out with a sad looking face on her, you know, and I was like, what's wrong, why were you gone so long, and she's like, I gotta hear the baby's heartbeat, and I went, what, and she's like, yeah, I thought I was going in there to, to get blood, but or to get a shot, get blood taken, whatever, and she she ends up coming in with the machine, and it's the you know she obviously she knows what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like. Um, she's like, did you get my call? And I take my phone out, and my phone was on silent, and I was like, oh man. She's like, yeah, it was like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I'm making I don't know that probably wasn't a good impersonation of it, but um, yeah, and I missed it, and that really sucked, but it made up for it. Um, the next day when uh. When I gotta actually see the baby, it was odd. We still don't know the sex yet. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, Martha's opinion kind of changed. Now she wants a girl. Um, I just want a healthy baby. Everyone makes fun of me for saying that, but if you're a dad, you know, you know, you could want a boy, girl, whatever you set your mind to. But if you find out it's not what you want, as long as it's healthy, that makes all the difference. And uh, even though I kind of would like a boy. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm going to, instead of, like, this right here is the ultrasound, I was actually going to kind of edit this video and just put it in afterwards. So that's what I'll do with that. I'll edit it, and then at the end it'll show a little slideshow of the um, ultrasound. So that's that. Um, Martha signed up for medical research. Uh, she knows the exact name of it. I don't. But uh, by signing up, they wanted they, they made hypotheses, hypotheses on a... Uh, Hypothesi, I don't know what you'd call it. Anyways, they did that, um, doctors did, on the growth of a baby, and they want to prove, you know, the scientific method for stages, whatever. So, they need people to volunteer. And Martha volunteered, and with it, she'll be getting, we'll be getting more ultrasounds than usual, which, um, which is cool. We get to see the growth of our baby. And the next one we should get, we actually will be able to tell it's a boy or a girl, so excited for that. Don't know when exactly it is, but... Anyways, uh, a part of that, she will we'll also get a free 3D uh, sonogram, which is cool. I kind of want to, we were talking about that, she wants to get one right away, and I kind of want to wait till it actually looks like a baby, because it's going to be, a you know, some of them cost 80 bucks, and then you're going to get a picture of a little worm. You know, who cares if it's 3D? I can take a picture of a worm on the ground and say, hey, look, that's our kid, you know. So, um, so I want to wait a little bit longer before we get that done. And also, she can get up to $150 for the study, so... That's pretty cool. The only downside is she has to get blood taken. I hate that. But she doesn't seem to mind. And another downfall is, you know, the the whole ultrasound thing. You know, there hasn't been any proven evidence that says it does anything wrong or anything. But it's just people claim it does, people claim it doesn't, la la la, whatever. So I don't have a problem with it. More, ch more chances I get to look at my kid. You know, so, um, it's basically it. Uh... Yeah, her 
It's really weird she hasn't been... Martha used to chomp down cookies like no other, especially Oreos, just... <laughs> and, and now she just doesn't... Her sweet taste buds just went out the window. She can't stand them anymore. And garlic. I, I eat stuff that I don't even realize have garlic in it, and she senses it like her nose. And, um... Don't stay away from me. Don't kiss me. Ah. And I'll be like, why? Garlic's on your breath. And, uh... You know, so I'm um, gonna start reading stuff to see if there's garlic in it because she turns into like a vampire. Get it away from me! You know, vampires hate garlic, in case you didn't. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a. Uh, she, she's been having a lot of. I uh, um, don't want to say mood swings, but a lot of irritability. Just random. But she's, I think she's getting better at it, like, she realizes she's irritable for no reason and she can, like, take control of it. Whereas before, you know, I'm pissed off, leave me alone. She can actually, like, you know, take a deep breath, take a step back and go, you know, there's no reason for me to be irritable. So, that's been kind of nice, you know, hopefully she can continue that for the next six months. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it from last time. Uh... Yeah, just really excited. Oh, oh, the test results came back for the down, uh, our baby is 100, as, as of right now, for the tests they done, our baby is 100% healthy. And, uh, and, and if you, and if you didn't see my, my ultrasound video, uh, they, they needed to measure the baby at the last ultrasound, so they needed it to turn so they can measure its spine and, and neck to see how long it was. And so she was jiggling Martha's belly around, you know, to try to get the baby to flip. And it, it was just stuck in the same position and didn't want to move. And uh, and I was like, oh, must be a boy. It's pretty stubborn. And, yeah, she never got that measurement because the baby, as hard as she did it, she did every tactic. Martha, go to the bathroom. Martha, breathe in, cough, whatever. And it just didn't work. So I just thought that was funny. But uh, only time will tell what it is. Um, but, but, yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's about it for now. I said that a lot, but uh, yeah. I'll, next time Martha makes a video, then uh, I'll make one too. You know, uh, I see she has 16 subscribers, so you guys should keep subscribing to her. You know, she's uh, she's more interesting than I am. I tend to do this a lot and repeat myself a lot, and uh, tend to look ugly in my videos. And she looks pretty hot all the time. So, and now I'm just blabbling. But uh, yeah, uh, right right now I'm gonna show the slideshow of all the ultrasounds, uh, just in case you wanted to see it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching these videos. I appreciate it. Thank you.